Now we are going to solve question number 3 and according to the question we are required to find the value of capacitance C where C is the capacitance offered by this capacitor which is present in this branch and uh, the power factor of this circuit is 0 0.8 lagging. So this circuit here is having the power factor equal to 0 0.8 and the nature is lagging and uh, you are required to find out the value of C. And I want you to pause this video for a while, have a look at this circuit and try to solve this question on your own. I hope you are done. Now before we dive into the solution of this question, I want to discuss one general case. When you compare this circuit with this circuit, you will find there is only one difference. Here we have R2, but here we don't have any resistor connected in series with the capacitor. So R2 is equal to 0 in this case and uh, we will first do the analysis of this case and then with the obtained results we will solve this question. Let us say that this branch with one resistor R1 connected in series with one inductor L is offering the admittance equal to Y1. And this branch with resistor R2 connected in series with the capacitor C is offering the admittance Y2. And together the two branches are offering the admittance Y. And as the two branches are in parallel, we know Y is going to be Y1 plus Y2. Let's say this is our equation number 1. Now we will first focus on the calculation of y1 and then we will have y2 and finally we will have y. y1 we know is equal to the inverse of impedance offered by this branch. Let's say the impedance is z1. So y1 is equal to 1 over z1 and uh, z1 it is equal to r1 plus jxl. So y1 it is equal to 1 over R1 plus JXL. Now in the next step we will do the rationalization and to rationalize we will multiply by R1 minus JXL over R1 minus JXL. From here we will have Y1 equal to R1 minus JXL in the numerator and in the denominator we will have R1 square plus XL square or we can write the admittance Y1 equal to R1 over R1 square plus XL square minus JXL over R1 square plus XL square. Now when you compare this with Y1 equal to G1 minus JBL, when you compare it with Y1 equal to G1 minus JBL, you will find R1 over R1 square plus XL square is our conductance G1 which is the conductance offered by this branch and XL over R1 square plus XL square is BL which is the inductive susceptance offered by this branch. So remember this result it is important. Now moving on to Y2. We know Y2 it is equal to 1 over Z2. Y2 is equal to 1 over Z2 and the Z2 which is the impedance offered by this branch is equal to R2 minus JXC. So we can say that Y2 is equal to 1 over R2 minus JXC. Now we will do the rationalization. We will have R2 plus JXC in numerator, R2 plus JXC in denominator multiplied to this. And uh, from here we will have the admittance Y2 equal to R2 plus JXC over R2 square plus 
x square or we can say that y2 is equal to r2 over r2 square plus x square plus j xc over r2 square plus x square now when you compare this with y2 equal to g2 plus j bc you will find this is equal to g2 and this is equal to bc remember this result as well now we can say that the final admittance y which is equal to y1 plus y2 is equal to g1 plus g2 plus j bc minus bl so we are done with the general case now we will move on to the question we are having we will first find out xl and xc we know xl is equal to omega multiplied to l and xc is equal to 1 over omega c and uh, we can have omega from the question when you compare sine t with sine omega t you will find omega the angular frequency is equal to 1 radian per second and therefore xl will be 1 multiplied to 1 because l is equal to 1 henry so it is equal to 1 ohm and xc this will be equal to 1 over 1 multiplied to c so we have 1 over c ohm now we will find out the admittance offered by this branch which is y1 we have obtained y1 as r1 over r1 square plus xl square minus jxl over r1 square plus xl square r1 is equal to 1 and xl is also equal to 1 so y1 will be 1 over 2 minus j 1 over 2 now we will find out y2 y2 is the admittance offered by this branch and we have obtained y2 equal to r2 over r2 square plus x square plus j xc over r2 square plus x square r2 is 0 and xc is equal to 1 over c when you put these two values you will find y2 is equal to j c now we will find out the total admittance the total admittance y offered by these two branches together it will be equal to y1 plus y2 so we have half minus j1 by 2 plus j c or we can write y is equal to half plus j c minus 1 by 2 so from here we can say that 1 by 2 is our conductance and c minus 1 by 2 is bc minus bl so bc is equal to c and bl is equal to 1 by 2 and g the conductance is equal to 1 by 2 now let's go back to the question it is given that we are having the power factor equal to 0 0.8 so the power factor cos theta is equal to 0 0.8 and cos theta we know is equal to conductance over the admittance the conductance we have obtained as 1 by 2 and uh, we know that the admittance is equal to under root 1 by 2 square which is the square of conductance plus c minus 1 by 2 whole square which is square of bc minus bl after the simplification you will have two values of c the first value is 7 by 8 and the second value is 1 by 8 now which one should we choose for this we will focus on the fact that the power factor is lagging this means bl should be greater than bc bl is equal to 1 by 2 
and BC is equal to C. So from here it is clear that the capacitance should be less than 1 by 2 and therefore this option is the correct option. So C equal to 1 by 8 is the answer of this question.